Hey guys, it's Shannon. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my mental health and prep for the PCT. Oh my, my, my. Oh my, my, my. Call me a king, you can buy me a crown. Oh my, my, my. Oh my, my, my. I'm leveled up. And this is my world. As many of you know who follow me on Instagram, I live in Texas and currently um, we have experienced um, the storm of the century. We've been without power for about four days. Um, luckily we have a home, um, you know, we have it better than more, most people. And it has, um, it caused a lot of feels um yeah so i actually um i got on a roll posting um videos uh from last year and i got really excited and just you know churned those out right and left and it was a great um creative outlet for me and then um the storm rolled in and, you know, it became all about sort of this survival element. Um, I sent my kids to my mother. She has heat. Since, since the heat and the power have been restored, um, I've been feeling a lot of anxiety related to the trail, um, specifically related to my level of physical fitness. Um, I would say the PCT, obviously you need to be physically fit, um, but it's a huge mental situation for you. Um, and I know that my physical fitness isn't as, um, isn't where I would like it to be. And um, on some level, I feel like I'm going to be going from couch to camp. Um, so that has me definitely uh, concerned. I am taking care of my feet and rehabbing my uh, feet and ankle, and I have been for the last few months. Um, and I've been doing pretty much everything I can without pushing it. I do the whole packing your pack, going through your pack, getting rid of stuff, adding stuff. Um, all the stuff I did last year. So it, it's not something I'm new to. Um, however, my why um, of why I'm doing this hike um, this year has not been as clear to me as it was in the past. And that concerns me. Um, I'm certainly not here to make money off of YouTube. Um, I really just want this for you know, documentation and I enjoy sharing it with those people that I've connected with. Now I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting feedback from you guys, um, especially private messages that, you know, we've been following you since 2019 and we really want you to make it to Canada. And this is not just one message. I've gotten quite a few and I'm so grateful for the support. I really am. Um, but I've started to reflect on what this hike is to me, to a, a, the YouTube community, um, and to a degree, the Instagram community. I mean, it's entertainment and, you know, you see a hiker, an unlikely hiker, um, someone that is not, um, the traditional body type. Um, someone with mental illness dealing with the trials and tribulations on trail, um, a woman um, in a typically male-dominated sport, sport, although that, that is changing rapidly. Um, that's, you know, that's entertainment. And whether I do that well or not, pff, you know, it is what it is. But there is that level of, can I make it to Canada? And what happens if I don't? I 
I had this moment the other day, I was talking with a friend who I met on Instagram, or who I met on Facebook, I believe. She's also hiking. And um, I said to her, I, I said, I don't know um, what my why is. Last year, I needed to feel strong. I was in a situation where um, I felt powerless um, and uh, I needed to get out there and sort of reclaim my myself and my power and I felt like I was able to do relatively well on the trail. I have footage, but I, I've been struggling the last at least week, maybe a little bit more. Um, it's been feeling a little bit like a job, which um, is good because I'm taking it seriously. But at the same time, I mean, you have to have this burning passion to do it. And I do. I just don't know where these feelings are. It could just be because I'm, you know, adjusting to this, you know, not having power during COVID, um, you know, I don't know. I want to make it to Canada um, and I want to do it for myself, but I do feel a responsibility to... As an unlikely hiker, I feel a responsibility to be successful getting to Canada. Um, and as a mental health ad advocate, I guess it's hard. I want to have my stuff on YouTube. I think, I think it's important to see um, someone that looks like you on the trail. I guess it, it sort of comes down to at what point is it a hike for me, hiking for someone else um, in the name of something else. So I don't know. Um, I am planning uh, to obtain uh, local permits uh, so that I can do a little backpacking on the PCT on my own, not vlogging, just um, sort of getting a sense of why I'm there. Um, and I'm hoping that that will be helpful. Not having access to trails close to me um, and this weird weather, it's not the same. So, I am still going. I am vlogging. I just need to refine my why. And I want to let you know that for my own mental health, I'm going to take a little bit of a step back. I'm going to reassess within my own brain and within my heart why I'm doing this. It's uh, 2,653 miles, and I feel like you have to know why you're there on mile one. And I definitely felt that. And I don't want to feel pressure to produce um, amazing content. I'm scared. I mean, I'm scared I'm not going to make it a week. And I mean, I've made it a week before. I just feel vastly unprepared. And I'm not looking for advice, really. I'm more, you know, wanting to let you guys know that this is where I am. And I'm going to vlog whatever steps I take. But, you know, I hope you'll follow along with me. But I don't think it's going to be the glitz and glamour that you're going to see from other vlogs. It's not. But, you know, you can always unsubscribe. I don't make money off of this, so, yeah. It's just a lot of work. 
and I don't want to feel like I'm doing it for other people and I do because you guys have supported me so much um, so like I said I'm going to heed the advice of a hiker friend of mine I'm going to really pay attention to my mental health keep that in check and um, to sort of get things together and get out there and do a little backpacking and hopefully I will have a clearer vision of what this through hike attempt is going to be for me and I hope you'll stay with me and and hang in there and um, I appreciate you guys following along <laughs>